Hi, I'm Becky Alley. I'm the guest curator for Soft Spots, which is the current exhibition up at LexArts Gallery. I was inspired to curate an exhibition of women artists living and working in the Lexington area, all dealing with themes of softness. As a gendered concept, soft can also mean weak in a pejorative sense. However, the four women artists whose work is represented in this show, Amalia Galdona Broche, Louise Goodpasture, Fuko Ido, and Lakshmi Sriraman, defiantly employ their creative voices to express authenticity, complexity, resiliency, and meaning in ambiguity. While each artist in Soft Spot speaks with her own voice, collectively they offer a respite from the noise of the day an invitation to retreat into spaces that honor nuance and affirm our shared humanity. So this piece is by Lakshmi Sriraman. I included her work in the exhibition um, because I particularly was interested in her process of dot making and um, how that relates to this notion of soft spots. She talks about her work and that process of dot making as an extension of her own spiritual practice. So there's something very meditative for her when she makes these paintings. This series came about as my prayer um, and all of my dotted works are prayer dots where each dot is an expression of my positive intent, a prayer into the universe, so to speak, a, 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 a painted expression of intentional creation. When you're standing in front of them, you feel like you could almost fall into these spaces that she's created. And so each of those paintings holds a thought energy of how a new paradigm can look like, where boulders are breaking down of the old and letting these dots of love flow in and creating this new magical space that we can reimagine. Collective intent is so powerful. Even though we are all whispering, if we all could whisper the same thing, it is a very loud energy, a power that cannot be denied, that power that cannot be avoided. It has to be confronted with. It has to be held for what it is. So we have a chance to rewrite history. We have a chance to reimagine life. One thing that I found out about Lakshmi after I had met her is that she's also a dancer, which makes a lot of sense when I look at her paintings because imagining just the physicality of making a painting like this with all of the marks that she employs and all of the labor that she employs in the scale that she's painting at, um, it's no surprise that she also has um, another creative practice that is very physical as well. I just find art to be so inviting. It invites me to step into a space that is so expansive and very focused at the same time. I find with it, within that space, not just to express myself, but also to reach in and connect with others. This work is by Louise Goodpasture. And one of the things about the term soft spots, it conjures up ideas of tenderness or fondness for something. And Louise's work really fits in that theme because she is drawn to drawing images of quilts. So I grew up in a big kind of matriarchal family structure. Um, so when I was born and all the women of my generation were born, um, quilts were made for us. They were always a point of pride and I think American quilts are incredibly interesting. There's so many things literally sewn into the fabric and joined together that can't be spoken or understood or archived. And one thing that's interesting about her drawings is, is that they are in black and white. So you get a sense of the pattern of the fabric, but there's also that information of color. Um, and even in the composition itself, um, she doesn't show the whole entire quilt. You see only parts of the quilt at one time. And there's so much that goes un, um, 
archived and is lost completely to history. There's so many quilts that we have no idea how they were made or, or by who, or maybe they're accredited to the wrong person. So I think you're really left um, feeling like there is stuff that you don't know, um, information that's just out of reach. Um, and I think in a lot of ways that's how memory works. It, you, can, you can grasp it, but you can't get all of it. I think when I'm working on a piece, I am always thinking about a personal narrative that isn't necessarily exhibited clearly for the viewer in the piece, but that's always where I enter. Another thing about her work that I think is really lovely is that you can tell it's a quilt, but the way that the images are cropped, it also references the body in certain ways. You can imagine there might be a body underneath this blanket. Um, in other drawings, it looks more like a landscape where you could imagine this being hills or mountains. I like to think about as I'm working with these, um, drawing these quilts, even though I'm drawing something that is really soft and tactile and comforting, um, I'm scratching the papers. I think it's really cathartic um, to kind of scratch away and to do the opposite of what the thing in front of you is doing. Um, I like to push that. When I think about the title, Soft Spots, um, each of the artists in this exhibition relates to that title in different ways. This is a piece by Fuko Ito, um, titled Tiptoe. And um, Fuko's work is very narrative in nature. When you look at it, I start to think about stories, maybe incomplete stories, maybe stories where I can imagine what's going on. Um, and this is one of those pieces. And the fact that it's a series of five um, I can even start imagining things happening from one um, image to the next. One thing that's really interesting is that in her work, she kind of creates a world where these figures live that are, um, that world's different than our own world. Everything in it is plush and soft. Um, you can see figures kind of um, nestled into this soft landscape. And one of the things that I think is really interesting about her work that she talks about in her artist statement is how plush material um, actually has a resiliency. You know, if you think about plush, you can push it, you can pinch it, but it bounces back and it's resilient in that way. And that's one of the things that I was really interested in in putting this show together was the resiliency of things that are soft. This is a piece by Amalia Galdona Broche. She is the only artist in this exhibition that works with materials that are actually soft. I absolutely love painting. It had a completely different energy, but the, the paints themselves and the materials themselves were something that I normally bought at a store that I didn't necessarily have a hand in manipulating per se, other than the application of it. Whereas with fibers and sculpture, I felt that I was more able to manipulate it with my hands and have uh, more of an impact in that way. The idea of being able to touch things and be able to manipulate them like very, in a very raw manner um, and without having any kind of like mediator. She's a fibers artist. She's used fibers that she's torn into strips and then she often wraps them around a form or knots them. I think that there's an energy whenever I make the pieces and there's this anxiety and this need to cover and to wrap and in the way that the that the sculptures are end up being, I think that some of that is captured, some of that energy and that need and that anxiety of um, trying to like find and cover up. And I think that when we look at each other, there's a lot of information that's kind of like in the background. Um, and we don't necessarily see that. And I think of fabric in terms of all of the lives that it's had and all of the movements that it's made, but you don't necessarily see that because it's so malleable and it's so flexible. Um, she's a very process-oriented artist. Her work um, is made by a process of layering and knotting, which is evident when you approach the piece. And the knotting is particularly interesting to me. It can reference counting something, it can reference praying or meditating over something. And so in that sense, her work um, is visually layered, but also um, conceptually layered as well. 
I think uh, of softness in terms of strength and flexibility of being able to bend and mold and adapt and to hold and to wrap without necessarily showing too much. While each artist in Soft Spot speaks with her own voice, collectively they offer a respite from the noise of the day, an invitation to retreat into spaces that honor nuance and affirm our shared humanity. Hi, I'm John Goman, Regional President of PNC Bank. Thank you for joining us for this virtual tour of PNC Presents Lex Arts Gallery Series. The arts are critical to the vitality of Lexington and PNC is proud to support the work of Lex Arts and the many artists and arts organizations across Central Kentucky. With assistance from PNC and many others, our local arts scene generates 32 million in annual economic value and sustains over 1,200 full-time jobs. The work of the artists and the arts organizations supported in part by LexArts Fund for the Arts engages nearly a quarter of a million young people every year. Again, thanks for joining us and I'll see you on the next edition of PNC Presents LexArts Gallery Series.